My name is Clinton Nelson and with the intellectual and financial support of two friends, Donald Steinspring and Steve Scherer, we applied for a patent and received a provisional patent application number 61534365 for the CDS blowout preventer. The CDS blowout preventer is capable of preventing disasters such as the Deepwater Horizon in the Gulf of Mexico on April 28, 2010. The CDS blowout preventer works automatically regulates any increase in flow or pressure by closing partially or completely in the case of a catastrophic event. We urge you to do all you can to spread the news that this valve was invented to prevent accidental spills, blowouts, and to increase the safety of more than 30,000 existing wells drilled in the Gulf of Mexico and other places. To bring safety and security to marine life, since 97% of all life lives in water, humanity cannot exist without it either. Let us keep it clean. Recently, three major oil fields were discovered in the Gulf of Mexico, containing billions of barrels of crude at a time when we pay about $40 billion per month in oil imports. Let us keep uh, jobs at home. This will also bring the gasoline prices to affordable levels. Uh, thank you. And uh, now I'm going to demonstrate to you how the CDS blowout preventer works. This is what a typical oil exploration rig contains, uh, deep sea uh, oil exploration contains, and you have the oil rig. The oil rig, uh, of course, sits, uh, floats uh, at the water surface. The riser connects uh, the oil rig to uh, a well, which dips into the oil reservoir. We suggest to install uh, blow up preventer, the CDS blow up preventer, just above the seafloor. Of course, this can be installed anywhere and it works equally well, but if it's installed near the seafloor, it will save any oil spill, even in the case of uh, uh, disconnecting the oil rig from the well. I'm showing you how normal exploration uh, uh, functions. Uh, right now, this blow up preventer was set up for this type of flow. Uh, if I'm going to disconnect the oil rig from the well, which I'm going to simulate now, it's a rupture. That's basically what happens. The blow up preventer works the way it's supposed to shuts off the flow. To reconnect it, all I have to do is reconnect the oil rig to the riser or to the well, of course, and just by closing the valve on the rig, I repressurize the valve, and as soon as the, the pressure equalizes the well pressure, the valve will open and I can get back into exploration. If you are interested in uh, licensing the technology, uh, please contact me at cn999 at aol.com. cn999 at aol.com. We are very interested in talking with you and uh, help you uh, build a safer, better, world for tomorrow and for the next generations and following generations. Thank you.